Hi guys, it's Crystal. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY home decor doormat. And um, we're going to be using the Cricut Design Space. So let me jump right in and show you that I've already created my design. And I've got it uh, flipped sideways. So what I did is I have it for like a 12 by 24 mat. And I made mine 18 inches long. And um, so we are ready to cut this out. This is So we're going to go ahead and hit the go. And it's going to be telling us that our mat is set by 12 by 12 and they are going to adjust it to 12 by 24. And that's what we want. I'm going to go in and kind of maneuver this around a little bit because I want to leave a one inch at the top and uh, about a one inch on each side. So that way I can tape it down. So there we go. I think we've got it right where we need it. And we're just going to hit go. We're going to be using the 12 by 24 mat. And then we are going to be using the Room Essentials um, doormat from Target. And it is $9.49. So super cheap. You can get this at Target and I believe Home Depot. And they both, I think it's about the same, same price. So we're going to be using that, the, the mat. We're going to be using, I'm going to be using the Cricut Transfer Vinyl. You can use regular vinyl for this, but it's the same price for the, for the, um, for the stencil vinyl and this is my first time doing it with a stencil vinyl so we're going to see how that's going to work out today. So um, we're going to be using our weeding tool. I'm using I'm using the extra large scraper because whenever I lay that down I'm going to get it all smooth on here. And then you have a pair of scissors to um, to cut your vinyl and um, painters tape to hold it down. So let's get started. So what I did was I put the mat down first and I figured out kind of centered where I want it to be. So I know that I can only work between 12 by 24 because that's how long I am. But what I did was I kind of centered it up a little bit and then I kind of figured out like I want it to be kind of centered in right in here. So I counted out and it's 18 inches long so I just went in and adjusted and made it 18 inches long and then it just <coughs> adjusted itself and stayed between the 12. So that's what I did there and so um, let's go ahead and get this cut out. Okay, now that we have gotten our uh, vinyl cut out, now we're going to go in and we are going to weed the letters out. I know that um, on the camera you can't really see. Um, let me flip this around. So I know that you can't really see um, the letters on here because it looks like I never even cut it. But let me go ahead and cut out the letters here and show you. So I have uh, trimmed off the excess that was here so that way I can save that and use that for a later project. And um, so here we go. We're going to put the mats. Now my mats, I get them from Cricut and you get two in a pack for $17.99 on their site. But they always have sales and I think I got mine for about $12, about um, say $12.50, $12.99 for two. So you guys should really check that out. I'm going to go ahead and pull the stencil off and then I'm going to put it down and then I'll come back for all my other pieces. Now that we have the uh, stencil vinyl down, we are ready to uh, paint it. So I have it all taped off. So now I am ready to add the paint. I am using the Apple Barrel Multi-Surface um, Black and it is for outdoor indoor use. And I got this at Walmart. I think they're $1.97. And then I'm using a foam brush to um, paint the stencil in. I'm going to put it on a scrap piece of paper and I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush at a time.
now we um, have removed this part and, and you can pull it off while it's still wet because this is still, you can see that this is still wet. Um, I'm just going to pull off the little pieces now. guys there is your DIY doormat I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for more DIYs thanks have a great day